right, John. It's hero time, man. Need you to save Dwindon. Good. All right. Are there two of them up there? I'm thinking maybe there are. There just may be two of them up there. What does suppression do again? Reduces his aim, takes a free shot. Oh, that's the floater. Um... Sees offensive bonus on lower ground. Yeah, yeah. Bet you can hit him. Damn it! Enemy is still alive. And that's why I don't go to Vegas. With my chance of reading odds like that, you can though. Can being the operative word here. And that's, of course, not enough. Can you take a step backwards and see him? No. Two. Blast. I was scared of that. No, 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 no. Okay, what you got here, man? You're reloaded. You're tanned, rested, and ready. You should be able to take out one of these. He's taken some damage, so why don't you deal some? Target. You know your fancy holo targeting comes up every single time and yet does nothing. Yeah, yeah, I know you can hit him and do some damage. What about this guy? Is it headshot time yet? Nope. Can you do just four points on him? I need to move you next time. I really do. I think this may be your last shot before we have to reload. Hostiles pacified. Good. Got no ammo. Right. Awesome. Let's get you reloading. Can you still not see anybody? What territory do we have? Alright, get over here. Put your skills to use. Crap. Um... See, John can see him, and you gotta reload. Crap. Crap, crap, and crap, and crap. Alright, I was gonna have you... Mine, I was gonna have you use your healing skills. But instead, I want you into Overwatch. Somebody's got to still be able to take a shot when he moves. The no! No, 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 no! Oh. And that is why... 
three turns. That is why I didn't want you using up your turn as a medic. Because I was afraid something like that was going to happen. I'm all out. Okay. Operational objectives completed. Excellent. And it saved Dwindon. Oh, that was... Definitely a little bit tougher than most of the rest of the missions have been. We'll have two on the injured list. Dwindon will be out, I'm sure, for a while. We'll have to see. Thirteen days. He still hasn't beat Muerta's record, but thirteen days is going to be pretty rough. And Keebs is now going to be a lieutenant. Lieutenant TBM. Awesome. Well, we got heat ammo and rapid reaction. Ooh. 100% damage against robots or a second reaction shot. You know what, I'm going to keep going down the right-hand column with you, and I'll take down the left-hand column with Cage, because I know I've already taken Bullet Swarm with him. So let's get you that second reaction shot. Very good. And two out. John Lee is going to take a uh, vacation after his first mission, and Dwindon is and take a bit of a longer break. We can do floater autopsies, we got some corpses. Very good. Panic in Egypt went down by two, and we got 200. Be in touch, Commander. 200 more whatever credits to add here. Okay. I want to see what panic looks like around the globe. Australia is getting scary. Not that Australia isn't already scary, but they're getting scarier. <laughs> okay. I know where my next mission needs to be. I need to get over here and do some heavy work in Asia. Because we're going to lose Asia if we don't. So, how are we coming on our the satellite? More I see, the more I don't want to see. That twisted hulk of flesh and metal. Driven by the alien technology, can we still call that life? We have to keep moving forward with the project, but the thought of treading the same path as the aliens is... troubling. What if they were like us once? Are we just part of a continuing cycle? If this is a glimpse of our future, I want no part of it. It's alright, Dr. Shin. No one's talking about shoving any augments into you. Okay. What I want to do, let's get, our next satellite's going to have to go in Asia. So let's order some interceptors. We've got some extra money now. I want at least one interceptor in Asia. Three days, okay, so we'll have it before we have the satellite. Excellent. coming on research. What have you got to say? Nothing? Thought you always had something to say. Three days to carapace armor, too. Okay. Very good. Very good indeed. <sighs> right. Let's scan for more activity. Good. We've got our carapace armor. We've succeeded in creating an advanced suit of body armor based on the alien alloys recovered from the field. These are the same materials used extensively by the aliens in the hull plating and internal structure of their craft. As we've already seen, the UFOs are capable of sustaining heavy impacts with only minor structural damage, which inspired our research into personal armor plating of the same design. However, the downside to this exotic material is that we currently have no means of replicating it on Earth. With a limited pool of resources available for future projects, we'll need to manage our use of these alloys carefully. 
The engineering team is awaiting orders to begin the fabrication project, Sess. Once completed, we can see how this carapace armor fares on the battlefield. That is exactly what we need. Carapace armor. Okay, um, experimental warfare. Beam weapons. We need some better weapons. We've got the skeleton suit. Has a climbing grapple. Nice. Okay. Um, let's get better weapons. We got some better defense. Let's go for some better weapons now. You are unusually quiet, Dr. Valen. Could have, you know. You weren't going to make some kind of a smart ass remark about some project we've got going on or research. I would expect you to at least ask me if I had a date to go see Prometheus this evening. Oh well. A week to satellite update. A satellite uplink. Four days to satellite. Okay. So there we go. We've got about a week and a half until we can get coverage over Asia. So. Interceptors have arrived. South Africa wants scopes. Two scopes. And they'll give us four engineers. Happy to oblige. Yes, indeed. Let's go back in. That's glad you brought that up because the that new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Anything we can do to help, Doctor Chen. Anything we can do to help. Now, anything you can do to help. I'd like to build a scope. And I'd like. Some carapace armor. Eleven alloys. Ooh, so I'm only going to be able to build two. Hmm. Yep, not enough alloys. Alright. Well, we'll get the two that we can right now. Everybody else will continue to have to make do with the uh, nano for the moment. Commander, we've got another contact. The signature is a little bigger this time, though. Let's go. I don't know if you're going to be able to take on a medium, but let's see what you can do, my friends. And it's over Asia, so that will help. Oh, that's not what I meant to... Oh, crap! Oh, 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 oh. Crap, hit the wrong button. Contact detected. Ah, oh, jeez. Hopefully this isn't going to lock up. Can you reach him? Engaging bogey. I did this once before. There we go. I did that once before. Sent out two interceptors. And the second one, the UFO disappeared before he got there. And the interceptor just circled around, landed at the North Pole, and the game froze on me. Glad to see that didn't happen this time. Alright. Send a Sky Ranger. Mine. Heavy, heavy. Muerta. Sniper. Hmm. We're good in everything except I would like to bring along... I'd like to bring along a rookie. Um, for 
frag grenade. Okay, she doesn't have any specialty items on her. So let's clear you. I'm going to range my troops and I will be right back. And we'll get this mission started. And here's the squad. We're going to have uh, Corporal Lilia will be our sniper. She'll be wearing a nanofiber vest along with it. Squaddy Mind Savage. He will be our support unit carrying his med kit. Kibersan, of course, will be up front with the rocket launcher and a frag grenade. And Corporal Cage will be our other heavy. Um, both of them, he's going to have the scope instead of the frag grenade. And both of them are wearing our suits of new carapace armor. And finally, our rookie this mission is going to be Rookie Angel Curse. He's going to be in a nano fiber vest. So there we go. Let's get this mission going. Strike one. Prepare for landing. Wave at the ship as we pass, boys. No reason not to be friendly. We'll be deploying to Russia for this one. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Now, unfortunately, I think this is going to help our rating in Europe rather than in Asia. Because I think that's where Russia counts. to attempt the breach and that's where we leave it next time when we come back we're gonna take on the medium UFO and hey we get to fight in semi daytime this time as well so cool we'll see you then <laughs>